Recall that control systems govern the system as per the inputs required and provided by the user. Setting the mode of operation and setting room temperature are some of the ways that we control the system. We see the following controls in a centralized system, thermostat, temperature sensing bulb, relays and contactors, control board, gas valve, and safety controls. Recall that we have learned about the following control components in the earlier chapter. Thermostat, a device to set the system to heating or cooling mode, set the temperature, fan speed, and many such settings. Temperature sensing bulb, detects room temperature and sends it to the system. Relays, a switch that controls the fans in the system. We find two fan relays in a centralized system, one for the evaporator fan motor and another for the condenser fan motor. Contactors, a contactor is a switch that controls the compressor motor in the system. These components are similar for a window unit and a split system. A control board is the brain of a centralized HVAC system. It controls many functions of the centralized system. All control signals for controlling the system and maintaining its safe operation are sent through the control board. In the industry, we also call the control board a furnace control board or an electronic control board. Centralized systems supply a large amount of air. All modern systems come with many modes of heating and cooling. For example, a power mode, power saving mode, silent mode, dry mode, humid mode, and many more. An electronic control board controls all these functions. Modern split systems and window units also come with a control board in them. However, they are not compulsorily seen in these systems. Recall that a gas valve controls the flow of natural gas coming to the system. It allows the gas to flow only when it receives a control signal from the control board. A gas valve is just like a gas knob you would see on a gas stove. A gas valve is one of the most important control you would find in the centralized system. A gas leakage can cause a fire in the house. A gas valve controls the flow of gas and keeps the house safe. Safety controls present in a centralized HVAC system are, thermal switches, high pressure switch, low pressure switch, float switch, and pressure switch. Thermal switches detect the temperatures within the system. It stops the control signal and shuts off the system if the temperature rises above the set temperature. High pressure cutout switch, HPCO, it detects pressure on the outlet of the compressor. It stops the control signal and shuts off the system if the refrigerant pressure from the compressor is higher than the set value. Low pressure cutout switch, LPCO, it detects pressure on the inlet of the compressor. It stops the control signal and shuts off the system if the refrigerant pressure from the compressor is lower than the set value. A float switch detects the water level in the condensate drain. Recall that centralized HVAC systems generate a lot of condensate water. This water collects in the condensate drain pan. Now let us have a look at the safety switches used specifically for the heating part of the centralized HVAC system. These safety controls are flame sensor, flame rollout switch, thermal limit switch, and exhaust draft pressure switch. Thermal limit switches are a type of thermal switches. These switches detect the temperature of the heat exchangers in the system. Very high temperatures in the system can cause an unwanted fire. If the temperature exceeds the set temperature of the switch, it sends a control signal to the control board to shut down the system. Let us look at a short video about the thermal limit switch. In this module, we discussed how the control board controls most functions in a centralized HVAC system. We also learned the importance of the gas valve in controlling the gas flow. Lastly, we also learned about how the flame sensors, thermal limit switches, and flame rollout switches eliminate the risk of a fire in the gas furnace.